Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology and wish you, everyone, a very, very happy Holy Festival. It's the Festival of Colors, not the Festival of Lights. That's Diwali. Somebody is asking what's the difference between Holy and Diwali. So Diwali will come around after six, seven months, but now it's the Festival of Colors. So it is a Holy Festival from... The land of Lord Shri Krishna, Mathura, Vrindavan, where the Vijvasis, Mathura Vasis, Dwaraka Vasis would, out of happiness, uh, put colors in each other's body out of love and reverence and celebration. And especially also, this is more prominent uh, in Mathura and Vrindavan, not so much in Dwarka. And of course, it is celebrated by Hindus all over the world. And now it is also making uh, into houses of many other people uh, in the West also. Okay, and we have yet another reason to celebrate Holi. Why? Because now finally Saturn is out of uh, combustion actually. Now what is combustion? Combustion is like, in short, a planet which is very close to the sun. Okay, so... What happens when a planet is very close to the sun? It's very important. Why Why does it say that it is combust? Now, when we hear the word of combustion, we feel something is burning, you know. Uh, it, it, it is and it is also not. So, when you say something is burning, it, it kind of inherently means that uh, something is changing, okay. Uh, it's getting damaged or a different... It's taking a different shape or form or the constitution itself is changing. But in astrology, combustion doesn't mean that exactly. It means that uh, a planet is getting purified. So whenever a planet is combusted, it doesn't mean that the planet burns out or everything that the planet represents uh, ends in our life. Okay, It doesn't mean that. It also does not mean that the planet burns and changes into something else. No, it doesn't mean that. The planet remains who he is. There is uh, never a change in that context. But what happens is, uh, it's like gold. So uh, when you when you try to heat gold, what happens? You, you try to melt it, it, it shines more, right? So the more the gold is pure, the more it shines. The purer, uh, the more it shines, right? So therefore, whenever we see that a planet is getting combust or a planet is getting out of combustion. So uh, let's first discuss what it means when a planet is getting into combustion. And then we will discuss the current situation, which is like you know getting out of combustion finally. So when a planet is about to go combust, uh, then it means that there are certain things related to that planet which we might have to sacrifice. It is, just means that. Now, why do we have to sacrifice? Because sacrificing something is like a fire which is burning inside us, right? And it is something which we don't like to do. Uh, sacrificing can also mean it's like uh, we have to be disciplined regarding certain things. So depending on the houses that Saturn rules in your chart, depending on your, you know, as per your ascendant, wherever Capricorn and Aquarius is falling in your bhav chart, uh, the, related to those two houses, there could be certain things which you might have been taking uh, lightly, cheaply, taking for granted or not paying much attention to or expecting, uh, as they say, you know, neglecting the inevitable and hoping for the impossible, right? So beating around the bush essentially. But now that is not the situation because when Saturn was combust, then we are forced to make a decision. Uh, related to those houses and because this this is not any other planet this is the combustion of saturn so uh, this might have required you know we we needed to increase our commitment our discipline our uh, sacrifice a bit more actually okay so this means that um, now this combustion is over so what what this means today current scenario is that now if we maintain the discipline and if we did the necessary sacrifice now it means we will be able to see the fruits so for example uh, if your saturn is you know the seventh lord for example so then 
you know, something to do with your marriage, you know, your spouse or your uh, married life in general could be the, uh, an event of wedding also so, or, or anything related to business partnerships mm, it can be related to other people. So maybe you are doing something which uh, the spouse requested you not to do, but you were not paying heed. But then now you got an ultimatum and you are forced to uh, follow the spouse, right? So especially if you are a Cancer or Leo, this might have happened because for Cancer and Leo, Saturn is the seventh lord, okay? And of course, if you are a Aries, then something to do with the profession, you know, you might have felt, oh yeah, yeah I need to do something, do something, do something. You know? So um, yeah, I mean, recently I was talking to Aries Ascend and he was just telling me that, you know, like, uh, too, he, he's thinking too much about money and career and profession. And, and this is what he said to me in the last 10 days, you know, which is but natural because he's your 10th Lord, 11th Lord. So now you are, um, you feel that you have to burn yourself to gain money, okay, because 10th house deals with name, fame, power, position, authority, status, reputation. And 11th house deals with gain of all of these. And also it deals with wealth and gain of uh, finances in short. 11th house can also deal with investments and so many other things. Okay, Growing your net worth basically. So therefore, if you are Aries Slugna, you might have felt that uh, you have to do something now. It's like do or die. Now or never. So... You might have felt this, but if you did something within in the last 10 days, then it is most likely that now you might be uh, getting responses, you know, so maybe you, you might try, you might have tried for a job change, you might get a job a response from some company or from some HR or somebody may contact you through LinkedIn, or maybe you are starting your own business, or maybe you are starting some side hustle, or maybe you are starting some secondary job also along with your primary job. Or maybe you are expanding your business into another city or you are doing a merger or something like that. So essentially there is growth. But in the last 10 days, if you did not pay heed to it, uh, then uh, well, maybe most likely uh, it, it means you will not see much fruits now. Okay. And especially if you're Capricorn or Aquarius, then something to do with your health and your body and your physique and your mindset. No, because the lagna is also your mindset you know it's like not not only the lagna we have the fifth house the ninth house and to some extent the third house also but it shows a very important part of your mindset you know where you want to focus what do you value in life okay so these things are seen from the lagna so if you're a capricorn aquarius then most likely something related to your life life pattern thoughts your physique something uh, was very urgent and you had a decision to change it or not to okay or maybe you decided to change and uh, now you are seeing the results now you are on the right track or if you didn't then you're still in the same place okay so uh, combustion gives us an opportunity for us to go and think actually deeper in life and see uh, what areas needs improvement and how can we make that improvement okay and of course at the end of the day this will depend on your Mahadasha, Antardasha, Pratyantar and so many other things you know your overall chart where is your Saturn and uh, what, what, what is your uh, sun doing in the chart okay and of course where is your ascendant and what is going on overall in the chart where is the flow of the chart what's the comprehensive analysis of the horoscope which requires a lot of time and energy, okay? So thank you very much for your patience. Uh, please let me know in the comments what did you feel in the last 10 days and uh, what are you feeling now? Did you feel the need to make a change? Uh, and did you make the change? And what kind of things are you seeing now? But be specific to the houses that Saturn rules in your chart. So uh, you can write in general, but it's good if you are specific. You say, okay, I am this ascendant. So Saturn is a lot of this house and that house, two houses. And this is what I faced 10 days back. And this is what I'm facing now. And this is what is my plan. Okay. So if you have gone through this change, then congratulations. Uh, you made it. And now is the time you see the fruits. But do not forget he's Saturn. So he won't just give you the fruits. You got to work for it. Okay. Thank you very much. Once again, I wish you a very happy Holy Festival. 
uh, once again and uh, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is down below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is still wanting to not make a decision. Okay. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. Thank you very much.